Hello everybody, good evening, good evening. Yeah, welcome to another time of prayer on our YouTube channel. This is the Obonaya Abokes and this is Saturday night, 10 p.m. GMT plus one. And every time by this time we um come together to intercede to pray. And tonight is a beautiful time because by tomorrow we will be celebrating the rising from the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. We'll be celebrating the, the restoration of our Lord Jesus Christ, and that event is significant in our lives as believers because it is the hallmark of our christian living is the hallmark of our christian faith if jesus did not die on the cross if he was not buried if he did not rise again on the third day if he did not ascend and if he's not seated at the right hand of god the father almighty the our 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 christian faith will be baseless because it is upon this foundation that our christian faith is founded because what jesus came to do was to transfer the life of god to us and the way he did it was through this process through this journey so even though he could have you know there were a lot of other ways he could have died he chose the death on the cross he chose the 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 way that criminals were sentenced to death which is the death on the cross so that he could redeem man he said for the wages of sin is dead so the 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 the, the, the uh, uh, uh the journey to the cross was jesus paying the price for us it was jesus paying the wages of sin which is dead death on the cross you know our uh, kabbalan theater and we remember in this season we remember the journey his journey to the cross and we are thankful we remember the the journey of the cross and we are thankful our our hearts are just full of excitement because we know that this is the this is the basis of our faith this is the foundation of our faith if jesus did not go on this journey we will not be here we will not be sons of god we will not be we will not be heirs of salvation we will not be brought into the beloved you know the book of ephesians chapter one he said for we are accepted in the beloved It's because of this It's because of this It's because of this the cross is the power of the gospel when you take away the cross from the gospel the gospel is powerless do you understand so it is in the cross the cross brings us into the life of christ brings us into god brings us into so that we become personalities in god do you understand and the reason we celebrate feasts like this is for us to remember the actual event do you understand so it's not just to eat and drink do you understand so when 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 god um instructed the israelites to remember there were several feasts that he, he, he instructed them to remember one of the reasons he did that was so that they could you know at, at every time at a particular time in the year they will remember the faithfulness of god they will remember what god did for them do you understand for example the feast of the passover he told them that they should celebrate that feast so that when they are eating the passover lamb their their, their children will ask them what are you doing what are you eating? and then they'll begin to recount the story how they were in egypt as slaves and all of that and all of that and how god delivered them that way they'll be passing number one there will be the 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 the, the story or the event will become fresh in their hearts thereby instituting what was done into their hearts once again number two their children we learn we be brought into that experience do you understand so when you celebrate a feast what it does to you is to make that the experience fresh again in your heart to make it fresh again in your heart so when you celebrate christmas for example you are making the the birth of jesus fresh again you are entering into that experience again and again and again when you take holy communion you are remembering the death of jesus that was the reason he insisted do this in remembrance of me so as you take the holy communion for example you are remembering the death of, of christ and as you remember it it sits in your consciousness and then becomes your experience do you understand so um this season is the season Season of, of Easter, and we are going to be praying from a particular scripture, a very, very powerful scripture and profound. But before we go into that scripture, I want us to just thank God and bless the name of the Father, you know, for, for such experience, for such privilege that He has granted unto us to be His sons, for such privilege, for such privilege. Father Lord, we say we are grateful. Jesus went all the way, He was beaten, He was spat on, a crown of thorns, he, 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 he had mock people mocking Him in worship. A crown of thorns was whipped and placed on His head, and then a, a rod was used to hit His head, and the, the thorns would, you know, permeate into His 
voice into his skull into his head into his brain and everything you know the scripture was describing he said that his form was nothing to behold his form there was no beauty in him there was no beauty in him but he went all that way because of you because of the love that he has for you because of the love that he has for me he was because of you he was oh he was ah, he was not the nest that had him on the cross it was his love for you he was looking at you and he had himself on the cross because he could have come down if he wanted to but he had the nails were not powerful enough to hold him it was his love for you that was powerful enough to hold him on the cross can you say lord i thank you i thank you for taking my place i thank you for going all the way for being a good good father for going all the way for me for being a replacement for me I sinned but you paid the price I was the one that went the wrong way but you came and you made you 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 suffer the penalty for me so that I can come into your life the oh Jesus you brought me into a divine exchange oh you exchanged my sin for your righteousness I give you the praise you exchanged my life for the life of God I give you the glory oh Jesus Jesus kamane jikailo si ze pretena ha ani min tu kusi viditi ki tu ze letena kaya dulutin de ruse veletaya ane kwan de si leto reki tu ze frete le banko ati shikala de resunia and you brought me ha oh jini biti ze koto livri tingre to ze leta imene no mo si vidiki tindo prete iri aton de preteva ha mme kumbi viti le to ze lete ya resundi viti ngute la what a privilege and what an honor to be called your son to be referred to as the heir of salvation to be referred to as joint heir with Christ what a privilege oh Jesus we worship you we give you all the praise we give you all the glory go ahead and lift up your voice go ahead and lift up your voice and worship the Lord tonight worship the Lord tonight he alone is worthy he alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. He alone is worthy. Babo bo friki tin todo pretere kali don se veletaya. Redu vile tin kublete judi bredu raba ba 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 kido de di kiti yete leta. Rekete le de mo 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 jibi di viti e don brede. Rekani mini min tu zi vile taya. For your love, he said. Oh, what man of love the Father has bestowed unto us that we may be called the children of God. We may be called the sons of God. We may be called the heads of salvation. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. Gabadon zibriti gibiru di ana mama me kibidi ata. Rebe de bele gya na ma zibidi bika na bala na mina ne moze bele de bele bele de bi yada data. Rebe de bele gya na ma zibidi gya na na ma na mala tan. Oh, for the beauty you have brought us into. For the beauty you have brought us into. Oh, the veil was torn. The veil was torn. For the access you've given unto us. That we can come into your banqueting hall. We can come into the presence of the Most High. We can enter the Holy of Holies. Oh, we can enter the Most Holy Place. We can enter where the Ark is situated. We can enter the presence. We can be encompassed with the glory. We thank you for that privilege of access. Lord, and we give you the praise. Oh, Jesus, ba solo prekaila. Mene mene mon jibidi kinto robaram de latino mekwala neza ha re mene minko pledize rupra na malateha in the name of Jesus. And the, what, what we are talking about is beautiful. The book of um, Corinthians, he says something like, um, Dear that are joined with Christ is one spirit. Is one spirit. The Passion Translation will say that they have been intermingled into the same spirit. Intermingled. So there is no separation. There is no difference. We have been intermingled into one spirit. Them that are united, that are joined to Christ. So every believer, if you have given your life to Christ, if you have said, Lord, have mercy upon me, I accept the work of Jesus on the cross come into my life be my savior and be my lord it means that your spirit have been intermingled into one into one with the holy ghost with the spirit of the father so there is a union between us and the father there is a union between me and the father there is a union between you and the father imagine the almighty god becoming and um, being fused into one with you 
it's a privilege and i want you to just lift up your heart lift up your heart and say lord i thank you lord i thank you for this privilege for this privilege <laughs> ephesians chapter 1 says say we have been accepted into the beloved <laughs> oh <laughs> god the father is not looking at, at us and saying ah ah these people they are ah. you know you know there is there is um there is how you you will step into someone's house and you know you are not accepted. The way they'll be reacting to you, no, I, I'm not accepted here. But the scripture says we have been accepted. We have been accepted. So when God looks at us, He's not seeing the filthy person. He is seeing a a a, a purified person. He is seeing Christ in us. Do you understand? So we have been accepted. We have been accepted. We have not been rejected. <laughs> God is not looking at us somehow. Oh, kababa miki tin kete mbele tai agada yendo sibiliata. Mega dibi divili antele timini kai na mama mande vele tia gia dom mele vene kia ten ne vele tai na mana minge vele tai. Jibi dibi tiki dim bele te mini ki dim bele de mala ne kia no zivili antele de me jibi dibi tia ka. Le mene mini vili di mini vili ni min di vili tia no jibi di ki vili aze vele tia ki vili di vili ato mani a ki vili ato be ki uvete ya. Lebele jibidi varam de letie kabala na men de letie kai na mama mama maya. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Baloti vriti gibidi vindi bidai no lo veleta. You reign, you reign. You are the ancient Zion's king. You reign, you reign. Madado jabala thala kadiye prata papa kaya. In the name of Jesus, we have worship. Amen and amen. Briefly, we will be praying from a particular scripture in the book of Mark, chapter 16. Um, I'm talking about the resurrection morning. What happened? One of the events that transpired. It says that starting from verse 1, I'll just read verse 1 to give us a, a background, and then I'll read verse 6, which is my my um the the the, the verse I'm particular about. It says, And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Mag- Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. Talking about Jesus to anoint him because he had been dead, he had been buried. So you know the the they, they 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 came to you, you know um with um fragrance with uh spices to anoint his body which was the ritual that was done for dead bodies but look at the seas it says and you know when they entered the the sepulchre which is the the tomb they they were met with an angel or by an angel they did not see the body of jesus and look at the statement of the angel to them and verses and he said unto them be not frightened be not afraid you seek jesus of nazareth which was crucified he is risen he is not here behold the place where they laid him he said behold the place where they laid him so he was pointing to where they laid jesus where they laid his dead body and he was telling them he is no longer here he is risen he's not here at all so he that they thought was dead or has been made alive and that is the prayer so we are going to be speaking there is the what we call the restoration power it quickens every deadness is it, it it makes alive every deadness he brings to life every dead thing and every dead person so we are going to be speaking into our lives if there are things that are dead in our businesses in our marriages in our bodies in our finances in our ministries in our in any aspect we are going to be speaking the same way that jesus was quickened he says if the same spirit that raised up jesus from the dead dwells in your mortal body he said god by the same spirit will quicken your mortal body romans chapter 8 verse, verse 11 he said he by the same spirit will quicken he will make alive your mortal body so we are going to be praying that the same spirit that raised up jesus from the dead in the name of jesus will dwell in our bodies we dwell in our businesses we dwell in our marriages in our relationships in our careers in our ministries and quick 
in uh, these aspects uh, that every deadness will receive life uh, in the name of Jesus every sickness will receive life uh, everybody will receive life go ahead uh, and begin to command life uh, masusi etonia bequandis etunekaira resunia ojikwate kubretoha resunia Jesus was a sample if I may use that word Jesus was a sample God was saying what I did in Jesus I can do in you uh, oh jikabumbri ikuteha Rekutu Belataya Resunie Kopelataha in the name of Jesus. We are speaking life into every deadness. We are speaking the quickening into every deadness in our bodies. Melonsia in the life of our children, in the bodies of our children, in our businesses, in our marriages, in our careers, in every aspect of our life that we are experiencing the deadness, let life begin to emanate, let there be a quickening right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Kabubiritesia, Rakadin Tomondo Vedeka, Revede Veleton Sieta, and Toma Momo Covilia Dondo Predecate, Rakadil and Tomomo Vea Quali Grito, Ragadagati. No mama mama, resunia no mama mama, sulia vreto mama maka, lenons kibelanton devra na mama mama, ragadon bleeding so no veleta, and no mama kwate solo mama kwani antoha, ragadomenia no mia no malia no no mashi and ene meleta, rabababa, in no mosia toko bede velendos kebretona vilandos kabalata, reketi no momo velenos kila no breno rabalatuan londi, rakwa sile dombre nombre ne kwalania sunia na kwania. The same way that, that, that Sarah was quickened in her womb. In the name of Jesus, I speak a quickening her unto our bellies. And metos letoha resulia. Everything dead is quickened and brought to life. In the name of Jesus, oh Jana mama 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 kaya da 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 da. Life in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. Life in the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. I release the power of the Holy Ghost. Move in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Oh, those things that have been termed irreparable that have been termed impossible by man in the name of Jesus the power of the Holy Ghost comes upon those circumstances right now in the name of Jesus the supernatural is brought into our natural in the name of Jesus the supernatural is brought into our natural in the name of Jesus God invades our space the presence of God invades our atmosphere and sets everything right by the resurrection power in the name of Jesus. Oh, she mama ma ki fenu si velataya ha. Oh, she kale. I see you. You are placing your hands upon a particular area of your body and you are asking God for a quickening. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you are quickened in that aspect. In the name of Jesus, your testimony is here. In the name of Jesus, do it to share your testimony. God has brought his power into that aspect of your life. Do it to testify to his glory. And you know, the, 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 the power of God is made available, has been made available tonight. And a lot of things has happened. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. God bless you and do have a lovely night rest. Tomorrow is Easter. Do where to celebrate and to remember the restoration of our Lord Jesus Christ. Meditate upon that event and his power will be infused into your inner man. God bless you and do have a lovely night rest. Bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah.